winter weather driving can be a big deal when it comes to drivers driving around North America during the winter months. Uh, typically from November to April, we see the most road closures, the most uh, disruptive weather, whether that's uh, you know lanes being reduced or whether it's huge snowstorms that shut down complete highways from start to finish. And in the USA, there are actually uh, lists that come out that are you know top 10 worst lanes to drive in when it comes to winter weather. Now this this takes a look at um, you know part of the lane being disrupted by weather, whether that is uh, you know dri drivers having dangerous roads to deal with, or whether it's road closures as a result of the weather, or significant delays from slow moving traffic because of weather related events. So if you are looking to become a truck driver or you are already a truck driver, there are top 10 lanes that you should really consider potentially not taking. And if you do take, uh, please, please make sure you're cautious because the roads are not all that great. And as they say, please expect delays when it comes to these uh, lanes. So number 10 on the list, is actually Columbus, Ohio to Rochester, New York. Uh, that takes the Interstate 71 and Interstate 90. And that actually has from November to April, about 8% of the time there are closures that happen or delays uh, because of winter weather advisories. Number nine on that list is Minneapolis, Minnesota going over to Chicago, Illinois. This takes Interstate 94 and down to Interstate 90. Uh, and this also experiences uh, about 8% of the time road closures, road delays, uh, and dangerous driving conditions during the winter months. Okay. In addition to this, uh, number eight on the list is Denver, Colorado, of course, to Chicago, Illinois. This takes Interstate 76 and going out on Interstate 80. And this also experiences 8% of the time delays because of weather number seven on this list is las vegas nevada going over to salt lake city utah and this is taking interstate 15 and we we see about nine percent of the time weather related delays with this lane specifically next on the list is on number six and that's buffalo new york going over to boston massachusetts via the interstate 90 and we see on this low, uh, rate, uh, lane, 10% of the time, delays related specifically to weather events from November to April. Number five on the list is Seattle, Washington to Spokane, Washington. And this is taking Interstate 90. And we do see weather related del delays of 10% on this, 10% uh, of the time on this specific lane. Number four on the list is Sacramento, California, going up to Seattle, Washington. And this is taking Interstate 5. And we see 12% of the time during the winter delays related to road closures on this uh, road. Number three on this list is Salt Lake City, uh, Utah, going over to Denver, Colorado, taking Interstate 80. And this has 16% of the time weather-related delays. Number two on this list is San Francisco, California, going over to Salt Lake City, Utah, using Interstate 80. We see weather-related delays of 19% of the time on this specific lane. And number one on the list on U.S. roads is Portland, Oregon, going over to Salt Lake City, Utah, where we see weather-related disruptions uh, up to 21% of the time during the winter months, from November to April. Now, if you are a driver, do you consider these accurate or would you put something other than these at number one uh, for major uh, US highways and uh, major uh, US cities? If you'd like to put some other one as your number one least favorite place to drive during the winter or lane to drive during the winter, please put it down in the comments. Give us a subscribe and we look forward to conversing with you about this stuff, uh, specifically myself, to talk a little shop with you when it comes to weather-related driving and the worst winter freight lanes that America has to offer. So thank you very much for staying tuned to this video.